Welcome back. It's whiskey time with Luke and Devin. And you know, whiskey time isn't a short two minute YouTube video. So take a moment, slow your life down, sit, sit down in your favorite chair and pour yourself a glass of whiskey to enjoy whiskey time with us. Last episode, we tried a couple of entry level whiskeys. Well, they weren't really entry level. They're kind of um, a little bit more affordable whiskeys. Some good yeah. starting affordable whiskeys. Good start. But today, kicking it up a notch. All right. What do we got? We got the Glen Morangy Nectar d'Or. And over here I have the uh, Mortlach, bottled by um, Gordon and McPhail, which I'm very excited. Neither of us have tried this yet, so. It'll be our first blind testing on the Whiskey Time so. show. So, we're looking forward to that. It's going to be a little embarrassing. It's going to be good, though. I mean, it's going to awesome. be tasty. It's going to be flawless. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so let's talk first about the Glen Morangy. This is one of my favorite sweeter whiskeys. It's easy to remember to, how to pronounce the name because it says orange, sort of, in the name. It actually says orangey. Didn't the guy say that it was also orange on the bottle? I don't see any orange. It well, looks more gold. the whiskey's kind of orange. Okay. Anyway. It's kind of gold. Glen, anyway. Glen Morangy. It's a, it's a Highland distillery, and our research team has discovered that they actually have the tallest stills in the business, if you can believe that. That's pretty impressive. How tall are they? Um, I'll contact the research team and get back to you on that one. I don't know. Taller than a house, I bet. Taller than a smaller whiskey still. Okay. Not that impressive, but maybe. <laughs> uh, so about the company a little bit. In 2004, they were sold to Moet. 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 Hennessy yeah. Louis Vuitton. It's LVMH, if you like nonsensical acronyms. Yeah. Interesting fact about this whiskey, though, is that it is actually aged or finished, finished in a sweet French wine, whose name I can also not pronounce. But it gives it a nice, sweet finish that's a little different from sherry. It's not bourbon, it's, it's something different. So if you want to try something different. Yes, so this is uh, delicious stuff. Um, can we, uh, are we ready yet? Can we go? Let's do it. All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna start out with a, should we do a little quick comparison about the color? They're pretty darn similar. Yeah, these are pretty close. I'm surprised mm -hmm. actually. Uh, maybe the Morlong is a little darker. It was 15, I think. Does this have an age statement? I think this is 12 years, I believe. I don't 12. know if it says 12, 15. Slightly darker, but pretty similar. So. All right. So let's uh, we'll start off, and we'll take a sniff. So it's definitely smells sweet. This is a little creamy, like a honey creamy. Mm. Yep. Definitely honey. Yeah, you can really smell this the impact of this French uh, sweet wine, whatever it is called. I can't remember, but. Well, we can try to say it. Sauternes. Sauternes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, we didn't practice that. Okay, there we go. We're gonna. It smells good. We're gonna it try it. It smells good. Let's drink this. Mm. I love this stuff. This basically tastes like um, liquid gold. Yeah. If gold wouldn't melt your throat going down. I mean, if you could actually drink it. <laughs> so, yeah, honey, sweet, delicious. Sugary. Definitely sweet, but it's not like a bourbon sugar. Right. It's, it's, it's like its own class of awesome. Let's see what it says in the box. I happen to have the box right here. And um, it's on the back. Oh no, it's on the inside. Inside the box. Yeah, this 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 thing has an awesome box actually. It's very it's a, it's a fancy box. Very fancy. But um, so let's see what it says here. So until the taste. So it says ginger, nutmeg, and toasted almonds bring a deep, warming taste interwoven with a syrupy lemon meringue and homey honeycomb middle. It's very syrupy and honey. All right, let's let's, let's look for ginger, nutmeg, and toasted almonds. <laughs> sure. Finish. finish. Okay. Well, I didn't read it yet. But I did see it, the, the title. Let's finish. Well, 
I'm tasting lemon on the finish now that I read that the lemon meringue. This is quite a nice finish as well. It's kind of like <clears throat> expands gradually and then kind of dies. It's it's very elegant. It's it's yeah, it's, it's quite very, nice. It's very pleasant. I would some some whiskeys when you uh, the finish is just flat and it's gone, but this one kind of grows and you can feel it kind of warming. There's a warming effect and then it just tapers off. It could just be the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so finish long and lusciously sweet finish with lemon zest, white chocolate, vanilla, and traces of. Ginger and nutmeg. And color, in case we can't see, it is, in fact, officially a honey gold color. It looks like honey. I mean, it's nectar. They're marketing honey gold. It is definitely honey gold color. No doubt about it. Tell us about the Mortlach, sir. All right, so Mortlach is uh, bottled by Gordon McPhail. This is what we call an independent bottling. So. What they do is they go to the Mortlach distillery or any other distillery. They bring their own casks and they have them filled with the spirits from the distillery. And then they either leave the casks on site there or they bring them back to their own storage rooms and mature them um, off site. So in this case, um, it's 15 year old. It um, also has a historic connection to the Glenfiddich that we talked about last episode. So uh, Mortlach is the first distillery and first legal distillery in Dufftown. And the um, founder of Glenfiddich worked at Mortlach for 20 years, Mr. Uh, William Grant. So we have Mortlach to thank for Glenfiddich and everything that, uh, that they produce is probably influenced by um, uh, Mr. Grant's time at um, Mortlach. So, it's also owned by Diageo, which is the owner of uh, Johnny Walker, the blended Scotch whiskeys that are very famous. So part of their production goes into the Johnny Walker blended Scotch, but forget about that. We're trying the single malt Mortlock 15 year right now. Anyways, let's, let's, let's get a nose on this and let's see how it smells if I don't spill it everywhere. Oh man. Mm, what, what, do you, what do you smell in there? Raisins. Raisins, maybe some... Hmm. It's a lot different than the uh, Glen Morangy. This is a space side as well. Oh yeah. yeah, this is Highland, which is a little bit... A um, little different, but yeah, this is this is uh, space side. I smell, I'm just smelling raisins, man. Just raisins. I mean, and like the alcohol burning my nose hairs. Hmm. Yeah. All right, let's taste it. Wow, so this this is for me this is really strange because I'm getting I'm burning in my mouth, but when I swallow it's like water, it's like nothing. Wow, this is a very long um the finish is is extensive. It's way long and it's still raisins for me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is sweet, but in a non honeycomb way. Yeah, so this is finished in sherry casks. More like a fig raisin sweet. So you get, yeah, it's definitely less less of a honey. The, the Glen Morangy, you get real honey taste, but this yeah. is, it's, the sherry is really um, apparent here, I think. It's pretty good though. I mean, it's, it's um, yeah, it's got a long finish though. I'm still tasting it. Raisins. It's almost, a hint of smoke. I'm getting a little, a little smoky. Well, compared to the Glen Morangy, definitely. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. I mean, the more I drink it, it's kind of a, kind of a woody, smoky taste. Smoked raisins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So this, hmm. but it's syrupy. I, I would say also. It's a little thick. It's pretty thick. Yeah. I mean, it's totally different than the Glen Morangy, though. All right, what does it say on the bottle, sir? So, um, unfortunately, there are no tasting notes of any kind on this bottle. Did it and come in a box? 
It came in a box which also has no mention of anything on there, and our uh, research department didn't really gather this information. Well, then that means pretty much we nailed it, I think. Yeah, Just I think nailed it. it's it's perfect. Exactly everything. as described by the distiller. Pretty We've, sure the uh, website says raisins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, burning, burning raisins. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our honey gold whiskey and the burning raisins of Mortlach. It's really a lot better than burning raisins, but I mean, in a good way though. Uh, I mean, good, d delicious burning delicious. raisins. I mean, they're amazing. They're kind of like candied, caramelized, poached raisins. Poached, <laughs> poached, poached raisins. Poached again. Anyway, so all right, so what what are, what's a bottle of this this stuff gonna gonna set you back? That's a good good question. So, uh, the lower end of the spectrum, sixty to seventy dollars is the, the Glenmorangie, and um, the Mortlock is going to be a little bit more up there, around hundred bucks somewhere. So. Anyways, these are two very kind of sweet, tasty, sugary, not not too. Um, smoky or burning whiskeys but uh check back with us next episode and we'll we're going to take a trip to uh the peated whiskeys peated region to isla to isla the island of peated whiskeys so stay tuned and as always if you have any specific whiskey you want us to try just uh, put it in the comments section cheers <laughs>